For me, one of the big highlights of Battles of Legend Heroes Revenge is the 10 new Link monsters that are in it. They, uh, they span a range of themes from you know, the very beginning of Yu-Gi-Oh! with Harpies and Black Luster Soldier, all the way up to the most you know, current modern themes like Salamandrate. And they're all pretty darn good. And they're not just good in the decks that they were made for. Many of them also have very strong applications outside of those decks. Like, take Black Luster Soldier, Soldier of Chaos, for example. It's a 3,000 attack Link 3 monster. Huge. You make it with any three monsters with different names, and it's got three great abilities that you can use whenever it destroys a monster in battle. But it also has another ability that makes it untargetable by your opponent's card effects and also can't be destroyed by them if you use a level 7 or higher monster as one of its Link materials. And that makes it a pretty good finisher for a wide variety of decks. In fact, many of the decks you play right now may have such a monster that you can use to give it that protective ability. You could take uh, Thunder Dragon Colossus, for instance. You could use your extra Colossus for that. Or a Chaos Dragon Levianir. Or even something like Orcus Nightmare. Or, you know, if you're playing Salamangrate, maybe you want to include one copy of Salamangrate Beat Bison. It's a strong finisher, and it's something that you might want to think about because it can also become a finisher that you know, can't really be swung back on due to its protections. Or maybe you want to play a zombie deck, and you might be interested in Evendred Savior. Now, obviously, this is great for Vendred decks because it becomes Vendred Slayer when it's on the field and also lets you get back Vendred cards. But it also has an ability that works for any sort of zombie deck. When it battles, you can send a zombie from your deck or your graveyard to reduce the attack of your opponent's battling monster by 200 times that monster's level. You could drain 1,600 attack of something by sending Doom King Balardrosh, for example. Or you could go a little smaller, only 800 for a level 4 monster, like Mizuki, which could help fuel your game plan, or uh, Necro World Banshee, which you could then use the quick effect to bring Zombie World out of your deck and cause a whole host of nightmares for your opponent. And then there's Cyframe Lord Lambda. You know, they say you don't know how good Cyframe Gear Gamma really is until you've played it while you have monsters on the field, and uh, Cyframe Lord Lambda lets you do exactly that. Its materials are any two monsters except tokens, and it lets you activate the effects of uh, Cyframe Gear monsters in your hand even if you have monsters on the field, basically taking out the requirement, the whole requirement of the theme. So if you're already playing Cyframe Gear Gamma to negate monster effects, or maybe you're thinking about it, or using it as a side deck option or something like that, uh, you might want to consider Cyframe Lord Lambda as part of your extra deck, because what generally happens with that is, you know, you put a monster on the field and then you're just locked out of your Cyframe Gear Gammas. Well, with Lambda, you're not anymore very strong card and a very strong interaction, and I would not be shocked if you saw it at tournaments in this upcoming season. If you're playing a slower trap-based deck, you might want Trap Trick Sarah. There was quite a long time in which uh, Trap Tricks Mirmaleo and Dionio were a common sight in uh, slower decks. You know, maybe they can come back with Trap Trick Sarah, with uh, increased ability to search them out and rewards for activating Trap Trick's effects or trap hole cards. But the monster I think I like the most out of them is Salamangrate Almirage. This one is uh, a little unique in that I don't know that you'd ever really use it in Salamangrates itself, but it has a huge number of potential applications in a number of different decks. Its materials are a normal summon monster with a thousand attack or less, and that means a lot of the common starter cards for a lot of different decks are useful for it. For example, you could use Altergeist Meliseek, uh, send it immediately to the graveyard, and you can search out your multi-faker or whatever monster you're going to need. And adding that together with all your Link Rebos gives you six total cards that you can use for that interaction. Of course, it's also very good in Cyber Dragon decks. So right now, with Link Rebo only, you can use Cyber Dragon Hertz and send that to the graveyard for Link Rebo. But you can't really get Cyber Dragon Core in the graveyard if you normal summon it. Salaman Great Almirage changes that, and it makes the deck a lot stronger as a result. Of course, there are many other things you can use it for as well, like Scrap Recycler and other monsters of that nature, but I'll leave a lot of that for you to figure out on your own. It's a tricky little card that is very useful in the right deck. You can find all of these and many more cards in Battles of Legend Heroes Revenge available now. I'll see you next time.